Say, man. Say, man. I am in shock, bro. Like, I am in complete shock. Like, I'm just like, like, wow, bro. Wow. Like, that's all I have to say. Like, wow, fam. Wow. So let me tell you guys, if you guys haven't been caught up with the tube recently, you know what I'm saying? I have watched Nate's video. I have watched Kali Kid's video. Jeff, I, I've been seeing everything. I've, I've seen Sid drop a video. I've seen a whole bunch of stuff going on. You know, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna get into this at all. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing my own thing. I've been, you know what I'm saying, distancing myself from any drama, any mess, stuff like that. But what really got me was when I seen this video. Now, I know you'll remember when the whole Smooth Geo, King Sid thing happened where they got cool back again, right? King Sid is telling me, don't edit for him. Don't work with him. Pretty much saying just fuck Geo, focus on me. And I'm like, bro, like, how are you telling me to not work with Gio if you guys are about cool? Like, it doesn't make no sense. It was nothing that happened in that. It was genuine. It was just Sid trying to make views, trying to get back up to where he was before. And he's telling me, bro, but I need to get my channel back up. I need to get everything back up again. Uh, I need people to watch my videos, blah, blah, blah. But the whole time, he did not care about Gio as a person. The only thing he was caring about was his damn views and his YouTube channel. Now, let me tell you guys. Now, I had a whole bunch of like fans. Everybody's in my DMs. They're sending me this video from an editor that recently worked with both me and Sid. You know what I'm saying? He was editing both of our videos and stuff like that. Now, what threw me off in this video, I'm, I'm watching the video and I'm like, the editor goes to saying like, Sid told the editor not to edit for me. I even gave him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, let me go ahead and ask bro, you know what I'm saying, before I, you know what I'm saying, before I take matters into my own hands, you know what I'm saying, let me ask him. So I asked him, I said, damn fam, like that? That's flaw bro, you know what I'm saying? And then he said, that's around the time we weren't cool. Of course I didn't want him to edit for you, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I sent it to the editor and I, I'm like, yo, is this true? The editor proceeds to say that shit is cap. He says he just doesn't want you to post. Wow. Damn. That shit crazy. As you guys know, me and Sid had our beef, you know what I'm saying? He he, he wanted to get back cool with me. We got back cool. You know, I thought he changed, you know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, it, it's been two years, everything like that. I thought he changed and stuff like that, but... I guess not, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice. You know, I can't put the blame on this, man. You know what I'm saying? I should have been more aware. You know what I'm saying? But basically, the editor basically goes on to play. I'm going to play the clip as well. But the go editor goes on to say that Sid really just wanted to get cool with me to get his views back up. And he also was telling the editor not to edit for me. And that was, that was so... I, I, it's just so crazy because I'm like, wow, like, now I know why editors taking so long to edit my videos. Now I know why I can't get a video out to you guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just, my whole process is delaying. Like, my money's being sabotaged. My channel's being sabotaged. Everything is being sabotaged. And it's just like, you would think, you wouldn't think it's like a person that is in your circle. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying I'm best friends with him now and stuff like that. But, you know what I'm saying? We used to be tight and stuff. And... You know, we had our fallout, our whole situation and stuff like that. And it's just like, he wanted to get back cool with me. He kept, mind you, when he was trying to get back cool with me, he was telling me like, yo, like, bro, when I tell you he was blowing up my phone, you guys, Sid was blowing up my phone. I'm talking about like, yo, you ever had like a stalker girlfriend or someone that was just a stalker just blew up your whole iMessage, blew up your whole message list and was just like, yo, 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 bro, let's get back cool. Like he was just on it. And then he was just like pressing, like he wanted to get back cool. He wanted to do a video and stuff like that. And I, at first I'm like, nah, bro, like what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like after everything this man done did, like, bro, like I can't. Bro just did some so much shady shit, so much snaky shit. And I was just like, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? It took a while for me to really think about it and just squash it. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, you know, I've grown as a person. I've, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting older now. I just, I developed into a better person. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to forgive and stuff like that. So eventually, I, you know, I, I took time to think about it. I took several days to think about it. And I, I finally forgave him. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, man, it was just like, he just kept trying to get back cool, kept trying to get back cool. And then he insisted we did a video. 
Now, mind you, at the time, Sid's numbers weren't looking that well. You know what I'm saying? His numbers were kind of looking like shaky. His views were looking shaky, stuff like that. And um, he just wanted to do a video. He was just like, oh, let's do a video. So I'm like, okay, maybe we can do a sit down video. You know what I'm saying? Me and you can sit down. We can talk about everything. And he was just like, nah, we don't need to do a sit down video. I'm like, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do a sit down video? You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you want to talk about everything? You know what I'm saying? But now I know after all the information that I'm hearing that you really just got back cool with me to grow your views and just grow your thought like not in a genuine way bro whole time i'm thinking i'm like wow okay maybe do change maybe do you know what i'm saying maybe we can just squash this come back together and just do you know great things again but the whole time it was for like a not genuine reason you know it was just to get his views back up and i'm just like wow like me personally like i can't like i have to stand on like morals and certain type of respect, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just, like, fake the funk, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he just kept pressing me, let's do a video. He didn't want to do a sit-down video. He wanted to do, like, one of his little Smash Fast videos. I'm saying, all right, cool, we can do that. We did it, boom, numbers started getting well, you know what I'm saying? But I can't say, I mean, my numbers started getting well as well, you know what I'm saying? That's what you guys wanted to see. That's what the everyone wanted to see. They wanted to see us get back cool and just, you know, it was, it was a great thing, you know? It was, it was something great to see, but whole time it was just it just wasn't genuine you know what i'm saying like we did a couple videos I, I i hopped in some of his videos his numbers grew and then now i realized it that now that i come to thinking i'm like after he grew his numbers like i really stopped hearing from bro like and i was just like damn you know what i'm saying like at first it was just like bro it was consistent oh my god like yo real we need your video we need your video now when his numbers got up it was like i stopped hearing from him you know what i'm saying and it was just like, okay. And then now I hear this, you're telling the editor not to work with me. You're telling, you know, this person not to do this with me, not to do that. I mean, for what, bro? Like, whole time, like, I've always wanted to see you win, bro. Like, I was there for you from the very beginning, bro. Like, back when you were working at a call center, bro, before you even started YouTube, you know? See, we were tight. He never started YouTube. He was like, he told me and Nate, he said, yo, I want to start YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Me being the real nigga I am, I said, okay, bet. Boom. I went to his house. I created his YouTube channel. I set up everything, made sure. Boom. I helped him. I recorded his first YouTube video. You know, I taught him how to edit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm helping him out. Every video he drops, I'm promoting it. Boom. I helped him kickstart his career. You know what I'm saying? And so for, for, for you to just say like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because he said in the past, I, I don't want to see him win. I, I, I really don't know where he got that from. Because if I didn't want to see you win, I would have never helped you from the very beginning. You feel me? So it's like from everything from way back, all the snaky, slimy stuff, you know. And then now we got that cool for just the wrong reasons, bro. When whole time, I, I, I really thought, bro, changed, bro. But then it's just like certain stuff, even too, when we got that cool, was just throwing me off a little bit. You know, it's like. He wanted me to get cool with his friends, but he could never get cool with my friends. Like, he basically wanted me to say, like, nah, like, fuck them boys. Like, hang with me and my crew. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, how do you want me to say, fuck my friends, hang with your crew, but you can't, you can't do the same thing and fuck with my people as well. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it should be like a, a equal thing. You know what I'm saying? But I guess this whole thing was just to grow his subscribers, grow, I guess, get to three mil. You know what I'm saying? Get it fast. Like, use me to... Get back cool, get those views up, boom, and then just try to pass me. I don't know. Get it three mil. I don't even know. And I just like, wow, that's just like, that's just crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? And another thing that threw me off was I was supposed to go to ATL to collab with some YouTubers. It was Unghetto, Avery, Booba, Bentley. Um, I'm not sure if it was someone else as well, but I was supposed to go to ATL. I told Sid, I said, yo, bro, slide to ATL with me, bro. We finna collab with blah, 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 blah. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's make it a whole big thing. He was just like, nah, I ain't going to ATL, man. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as he sees me about to do this thing with all these boys, he's just like, man, I'm, I'm coming to ATL, bro. Be ready, bro. Let's do our shit, bro. Let's crush them boys. Let's do our own shit, man. Fuck them boys. Don't do them video with them boys. Fuck that video. Let's do our own shit, man. I'm coming to ATL. Let's take over that shit, man. Florida, take over, man. Fuck them boys. Don't do nothing with them boys. But I'm just like, Fam, nah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I already gave my word to all them boys. I told them, I said, I said, I'm gonna do the video with you. You know what I'm saying? I already had everything confirmed. So just cause you tell me not to do a video with them, like, nah, bro. Like, I already gave them my word. Like, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, you know what I'm saying? I gave you my word. I'm gonna do the shit. You know what I'm saying?
But he was just like, nah, fuck that, all that. So mind you, as we go to ATL, this man comes to ATL, comes to my video shoot, basically sabotages my whole video shoot, you know what I'm saying? And the video never got dropped, you know what I'm saying? You guys have never seen that video because the video got fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And that shit was just like, that shit threw me off. I'm like, bro, like, why do you feel the need to, like, be in control, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you don't, it's like, if you don't agree with him on what he wants, he gets mad, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he catches the fit, you know what I'm saying? Everything must be his way and, like, his own way, like, on some dictatorship, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I see why the name is King Sid, like, he wants to be that king, he wants to be in control of everything, you know what I'm saying? He wants to rule everything, everyone must listen to him, must bow down to him, and it's just like, bro, no, no, no. This, this video from this editor really left me in shock, because I'm like, wow, like, this really makes sense. Like, this is why my videos are taking so long to get edited. You know what I'm saying? And like, right now, I currently don't have an editor. I've been trying to look for one. You know, I also have other businesses on the side I've been taking care of. So that low key, like, slowed me down a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough from way back when we were beefing the first time. He basically sabotaged my image. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's times on the internet, like, you know, like, he kind of like made himself seem like he's so genuine and I'm the snaky guy when the whole time is like, I've never done anything flaw or snaky or slimy, anything like that to you before, bro. Like I was there from the very beginning, bro. I helped you from the very, very beginning. Like I always wanted to see you win, fam. And for you, like, I, I wonder like, what have I done to you? You know what I'm saying? To make you feel like, like, why you want to slime me out? You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure everybody good, you feel me? But I guess, you know what I'm saying, his whole thing is just, he wants to be at the top, you know what I'm saying? He will slime anybody out to get to the top, and that's just like, that's not the right way to move, bro. Like, now he's just burned so many br bridges, bro. He's burned bridges with me, Nate, Kala Kid, Jeff, Suave, everybody in his whole crew, to even influencers, bro. Like, he's been burning so many bridges, and it was like, bro, that's not the way to move, bro. Like... You gotta be genuine, bro. Like, that's all that, like, trying to play, like, all that fake love, trying to be genuine cool first just to get the way you want it. Like, bro, that shit is, like, it's not real, bro. I, I can't fake the funk, fam. Like, I can't do it. It's just, like, I can't just pretend to just, like, fake fuck with someone to just, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it just, ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't just, if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. I can't be around you. Like, I can't just fake fuck with somebody to just, like, for the wrong reason, it just don't sit right with me, you know what I'm saying? He basically kind of like tried to manipulate the internet to make it seem like I'm this too prideful, too bougie person that like, oh, Gio's just so prideful, so bougie, like, he don't want to do everything, like, he says, like, Gio's so bougie when the whole time it's just like, bro, that's, that's you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're the prideful one, fam, like, you know, it's just, like, whole time too, I remember when we were beefing, like, he used to tell me when we used to be cool, like, oh, I'm follow this person, I'm follow that person, I'm follow this person, woo, woo, woo. And then when we were beefing, it's like, the same people he told me to unfollow, he starts following everybody. He starts following over a thousand people just to make these people feel like he fucks with them. You know what I'm saying? He makes them feel like he fucks with them. And now that his views are back up, he's where he wants to be, his shit is doing good, it's like... He unfollowed everybody again. You know what I'm saying? He made people think that he fucks with them, but then he goes back to unfollow them again. Like, whole time, he's the bougie. Mo I mean, I, you are a smart snake. I, I, I can give you that, man. But that's not the right way to move, bro. Like, that shit's not, like, it's not cool. You feel me? Like, and then it also hurt me when, when, we, when we were beefing because... The whole time is like, he was doing all this snaky shit. I never did anything to him. Like, Sid knows I never slept with his ex. I've never done any of that. He knows that, but he still portrayed that to the social media. He still pushed that out to the social media to make my image look bad, to sabotage my image, and to basically make him look good. And for, I, I don't know why he would do that. I, I really don't know why, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess it's because I was distancing myself because they were having a lot of drama. Like, bro, like, you want to sabotage my image now because of that? Because I want to, like... I don't want to be messy and stuff like that, bro. Like, it's not it's not cool, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he knows I never slept with his ex. He knows I never done anything like that. And for you to just, like, not snake me once, but snake me twice, bro. Oh.
twice? It's like, damn, bro. Like, I really, like, I really can't trust you at all no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could forgive you, but I just can't forget, bro. And I just can't, like, I guess that's why, like, you guys, that's why you guys don't see us around together, bro. It's like, you know, he got what he wanted from me, you know. He, we reconnected. He got his shit butt back buzzing, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I haven't heard from bro like that, you know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is, it's like, I just went to this man's house last week. Like, last week, I went to his house to drop off some clothes from Play Benji. Shout out Play Benji. But I went to go drop him off, like, some clothes so he can wear, you know what I'm saying, look fresh. I know he's on tour and stuff like that. I went to his house to drop off some clothes. Whole time, you've been snaking me on the back end, bro. Like, that shit, like, damn, dog. Like, that shit crazy, fam. Like. I didn't think, like, I, I really thought, like, shit was good, you know what I'm saying? But I guess that's just, you know, some people just never change. I mean, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm appalled. I'm flabbergasted, you know what I'm saying? I'm flabbergasted, fam, you know what I'm saying? And when we were beefing the first time, like, it kind of hurt me when everyone in the circle was just on his side. Because I'm like, damn, like, like that shit, imagine... You don't do something to somebody. They've been doing something snaky, and then everyone's on that person's side. You know what I'm saying? This is like, damn, that shit hurt. But I'm glad that Nate, Jeff, all of them boys, I'm, I'm glad they got to see the true colors. I'm glad. I mean, hey, man, what's done in the dark will always come to the light, fam. But I'm not going to lie. I feel bad for you, Jeff, because for Sid to spit in your face, fam, that was a slap in the face, bro. I'm, I was just, wow. He spit in your face, fam? That's, that's tough. For someone to be like a day one, like mind you, Jeff been around since like before I even met Sid, before any of us, like Jeff and Sid were neighbors, fam. So for Sid to spit in Jeff's face, fam, over something so pet, like imagine a nigga just spit in your face like, what the fuck? Like, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, wow, bro, and that's just crazy, but I'm glad you guys Nate, Jeff, all you, all you boys, man, I'm glad you guys got to see it for yourself to know I'm not tripping and I'm not the problem, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not the problem, man, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, that's just how life has to work. Sometimes people have to experience stuff with their own eyes for them to know and for them to learn, you know what I'm saying? And that's just life and, yeah, man, that's, that's crazy that I found out everything that I found out. But it's okay, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to let that stop me, yes, like... He has sabotaged my image. He has done all this. Like, bro, he slowed up my money. He slowed up my channel. Slowed up a lot of things for me. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm with God, you know what I'm saying? And I know if I if I stay down with God, I stay, you know what I'm saying, connected, bro, nothing can ever go wrong, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm good. At the end of the day, you guys don't have to feel sorry for me, you know what I'm saying? But at least, you know what I'm saying, this got out to the world. You guys get to see the true colors, the, the true everything, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, man, I, shit, I'm... Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gone, man.